Hello everyone, this is Jack. In this video, I'm going to cover seven tips to plant and grow avocado trees successfully. And these tips are going to become really handy when you plant avocado trees because most of the people have trouble growing avocado trees and it's really easy to kill avocado trees as well. So, the very first thing you wanna do, tip number one, is to choose an area that is well drained. So avocado trees don't like sitting in water. They get waterlogged. So you need to have proper drainage uh, in your area. If you don't have it, you can make mounds or berms and plant avocado trees on top of the mound to increase drainage. You can also add gypsum into the soil as well. Now, we are on a natural slant here. Our house sits up on a hill and we have a natural slant. So this is the area that I've chosen to plant avocado trees because water never collects here. It always run down, it runs downhill. And we've already added gypsum into the soil as well that helps water to permeate into the soil as well and also provide calcium to the soil. Tip number two, adding organic matter to the soil. Now avocado trees love organic matter and they will thrive in organic matter. So if you have clay soil, you want to add organic matter to your soil to increase drainage and also to provide nutrients to the, to the tree as well. But the, the, the organic matter in clay soil will disintegrate and create pockets for water to penetrate deep and also the roots to flourish as well. If you have sandy soil, you want to add organic matter to the soil to increase moisture because you know the compost also tends to hold more moisture as well. So no matter what kind of soil you have, Avocado trees love organic matter. Avocado trees love pH between 6 and 6.5 and we naturally have about 6.0 pH in this soil so we don't have to do anything about that. However, if you have slightly acidic soil or slightly alkaline soil, you can adjust the pH. But avocado trees are not too temperamental about pH so you don't have to worry about it too much. However, if your soil is really alkaline, you are above 7 or 7 or above 7, you want to add sulfur to lower your pH, or if you're really acidic, you are at five or 5.0 or 5.5, you want to add lime to increase the pH level of your soil. So if you can adjust your pH around 6.0 to 6.5, avocado trees will thrive. Now this white stuff is gypsum. We've already added gypsum into the soil, and we've added well-composted com compost, well-aged compost into the soil, and we have mixed it into the soil as well. We have added half a yard of compost per tree and you can see it right here. This stuff is all black stuff that is mixed into the soil. Now you don't want to add half a yard of compost into just a little square hole or a little hole. You know, we are covering about 10 feet diameter of this soil around the avocado tree to amend the soil. So that's why we're using half a yard. That's about in 13 and a half cubic feet of soil. If you're planting avocado trees and your soil lacks organic matter, create at least five foot diameter around the, you know, the avocado tree and amend at least seven to eight cubic feet of organic matter into the soil. Tip number three, creating the hole to plant the avocado tree. Now, if you have hard compacted soil, you must create square holes to plant your trees. And I made a video about why you should create square holes to plant your trees as well. So check that video out if you're interested. I'll leave a link to that video in the description. If you haven't you know, worked in your soil, you worked in the organic matter uh, into your soil to plant the avocado tree beforehand, you must create the hole at least three times the size of your container. And I would actually prefer four times the size of your container and add organic matter into the soil and create a square hole to plant the avocado tree. So let's create that hole. But since I've added all the compost in there, I want to keep the soil moist so all the microorganisms in the compost, they don't die. I want to keep the microorganisms alive in the soil. And to do that, I must keep this moisture in the soil. So it helps a lot to make the soil moist before you dig the hole. All right, I'm digging a square hole here. All right, now it's time to plant. Now since we've already amended our soil in 10 foot diameter, I made a smaller hole. Now I'm going to keep the same level that's in my container level with the, with the soil that I have. I don't want to make it too deep or I don't want me to make it too high. If you make it too high, the roots will dry. If you make it too deep, you know, the grafted joint will be below the soil and you don't want that. You always want to keep the grafted joint above the soil level. Now I'm going to fill in around the tree. 
So after I filled in a little bit around the tree, that is when we are going to fertilize. The tree is in the ground and now on to tip number four, that's fertilization. Now before I do that, I wanted to mention that I made my tree lean a little bit into the wind. Always make your tree lean into the wind because if the trees are planted straight or lean in with the wind, the wind will eventually lean the tree over, it will actually break the tree as well. So always lean it into the wind. Now, for trip number four for fertilization, I like to use chicken manure or pelleted chicken fertilizer. Now here's the trick. Do not add all the fertilizer in the hole or the bottom of the hole or around the hole. First plant the tree, fill in around the, uh, the tree as well and then you know fill the uh, chicken manure around the perimeter of the tree so the roots grow into the fertilizer and the fertilizer is not sitting in with the roots because if you provide a lot of fertilizer a lot of nitrogen to newly planted trees it can burn the trees so you should always let the roots of the trees grow into the fertilizer rather than providing fertilizer directly to the roots so how much fertilizer to add and how often to add you should add about two pounds of fertilizer if you're broadcasting fertilizer over five to six feet diameter. If you're only applying fertilizer about two to three feet around the tree, you should add about one pound of natural organic fertilizer. Now that differs uh, when you apply chemical fertilizers. Now I don't really recommend chemical fertilizer. I don't apply chemical fertilizers. So this is the pelleted chicken fertilizer that I like to use. And this is 442 and I use two pounds per tree. So if you're using something like 842 or 864, something like that, you want to use half of this. You want to use half of the nitrogen. So you want to use one pound of it around your tree. And if you're using chemical fertilizer, which I really don't like, those are Really, they have really high NPK. They are like triple 16s or 16, 12, 10, something like that. And if you if you wish to use those, even though I don't like them, you only want to use handful or 10 tablespoons, depending on uh, the recommendation by the manufacturer. And those are the ones that can really burn the trees because of high nitrogen content. So be very careful in using the fertilizer. And I recommend always using the organic fertilizer. Avocado trees like nitrogen and zinc. You can also feed citrus fertilizer that contains zinc to avocado trees as well. Now, how often to add the fertilizer for your avocado trees? You should fertilize your avocado trees three times a year. Once in spring, once in summer, and once in fall. Now, I'm planting my avocado trees in fall. We, we actually bought them in summer. We were having trouble locating avocado trees. They were so much in demand. So, we finally found a nursery where we could buy these. So, we drove about, you know, two hours to get these trees. We got 10 avocado trees of different varieties and I'll be discussing the varieties as well. Since we got avocado trees in summer, I didn't want to plant my avocado trees in the dead heat of summer because heat can burn the leaves of the avocado trees as well. Now tip number five, mulching. Now avocado trees love moisture. They don't like to be you know, dry out. So you need to mulch your avocado trees really well to retain the moisture in the soil. Now I have these wood chips. I, all, I got all of these wood chips for free and I made a video about how to get free wood chips as well. So check that video out if you're interested too. So let's apply these wood chips around the avocado tree to keep the moisture. All right, so I'm going to put the wood chips right alongside the avocado tree here. Now these wood chips are going to break down and provide nutrients for the avocado tree as well. All right, now tip number six, watering. Now I have my drip line here and I have my sprinkler on this line as well. So this is a four gallons an hour sprinkler and it has two settings. It has a setting to provide water in three feet diameter and also 10 foot diameter as well. So watering is very important for avocado trees. You need to constantly, frequently provide water almost every day to your avocado trees. If the trees dry out, they're not going to do well. So when it's really hot during a heat wave, I'm providing about eight to 12 gallons of water every single day, and that's just around two to three feet around the tree. Now, all the stone fruits that we planted out there, I have expanded the sprinklers to provide water up to 10 foot diameter, and I'm watering those in the heat wave every other day, and I'm providing about 28 gallons of water do throughout the night that I'm watering because it's a much larger area I want to saturate it all with water 
so that the water permeates down into the soil, deeper into the soil for the roots to access. And over the next two, three days, as the heat phase goes on, the water is deep into the soil and roots can still access it. As you can see, when we planted this tree, the, the container was this high. It was about 18 inches high. So the roots are only already down to 18 inches. So if you just provide two gallons of water just on the surface and the water just runs out of, uh, away from the tree, the tree is not going to get any of that water. So you need to provide enough water, you know, and very constant, slow release of water so that it goes deeper into the soil, such as drip irrigation or a sprinkler system that provides, you know, like two to four gallons of water over an hour. So the water permeates deeper into the soil and the roots can access it. Tip number seven, protecting your avocado trees. Now avocado trees love temperature between 60 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit and they love humidity. So avocado trees are usually grown on the coastal region of California. The coastal region of California has milder summers and milder winters. Now we are south of Sacramento, a little bit inland, and we do have a little bit hotter summers and a little bit colder winters. So usually the temperature here in summers is in 90s, and we do get some triple digit temperatures in summer as well. So if the temperature goes above 102, 103 degree uh, Fahrenheit, which is about 39 to 40 degrees Celsius, you need to provide shade to your avocado trees. And if the temperature dips below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about three to four degrees Celsius, you must also protect your avocado trees with some greenhouse fabric. When the avocado tree is fully grown and it grows up to eight to 10 feet tall, you don't have to worry at all. It will tolerate the heat and the cold by itself just fine. You can also grow avocado trees in containers as well. Just get a really big container, probably a wine barrel size, and then add a lot of organic matter and compost to that container and grow your avocado tree. It won't get as big. It's not gonna get you know, 12 to 14 to 18 feet tall and wide. However, it will get big enough to give you avocados, just like lemons will grow in a, in a container, but the trees will be shorter and, and smaller, but it'll still give you lemons. Now, the variety of avocado trees we are growing is Stuart avocado and holiday avocado. Now, the reason we are growing these avocado trees is because they are more cold hardy because it does get colder here. It does dip, the temperature does dip below freezing here in winters. It does get to about 28 to 29 degree Fahrenheit and we do get some frost. So when the frost hits, I'm going to be covering these trees with greenhouse fabric for at least two years while these trees grow. So after that, I won't have to do that as much. So when you're growing avocado trees, you need to research what variety of avocado trees will grow best in your zone. So you might be able to grow Haas avocado, bacon avocado, Stewart, holiday. There are many different varieties. It's a lot of time and a lot of information to cover in this video about the variety of avocado trees. But if you do a quick search and find out your zone and then search what kind of avocado trees will grow in your zone, you'll be able to find the information for your region as well. So this is all the information you need to plant your avocado trees and grow your avocado trees. And I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another video.